This is the story of many of the reptiles and amphibians who were sold at PetSmart and other pet stores. At Reptiles by Mac, a massive exotic animal mill, a PETA eyewitness saw countless animals arrive in tiny containers, sometimes from halfway around the world. These turtles frantically clawed at the side of the crates, desperate to get out. In its two warehouses, Reptiles by Mac kept tens of thousands of animals crammed in filthy, barren plastic tubs, often without adequate food and water. Parched and dehydrated animals clamored for water and drank for several minutes after being given water by PETA's eyewitnesses. Finding emaciated animals was par for the course for PETA's eyewitness, like this bearded dragon, who was desperate for food and water. This is what a healthy bearded dragon should look like. Countless animals never made it out of reptiles by Mac alive. PETA's eyewitnesses documented the agonizing deaths and cruel killings of hundreds of animals. Animals who got loose were caught with makeshift glue traps pieces of cardboard covered with double-sided tape, which weren't checked for several days, leaving them to struggle and die a prolonged death. Others frantically attempted to escape, tearing their skin and dropping their tails as they thrashed around. Bearded dragons were kept in severely crowded tubs and had to fight for food and space, resulting in horrific injuries, some with nearly severed, infected limbs, exposed bones, and bloody wounds were denied adequate care and often just left to rot. You'd be amazed at how little gets done for the sick ones here. I cut legs off before, I ain't made legs before. They didn't budge and all I had to do was with the wire cutters. We're a wholesale distributor, man. So anytime like I'm complaining about, you know, the health of like a certain animal or like one or two animals, I feel like honestly in their eyes, they're just like, well, if it dies, we'll just buy more. Yeah. We're basically sending these guys aside to die and waste away. Some reptiles were put in small bags and gassed with carbon dioxide. Workers described animals being thrown into a freezer while they were still alive. It even been put down a long time ago. Usually I just throw them in a fucking cooler. I've seen them frozen in a freezer, like trying to get out. And this is what it's all for. Thousands of animals were shipped to PetSmart and other stores in crowded containers with no food or water. And Reptiles by Mac is the sixth supplier of pet store chains that PETA has exposed. If you would like to help these animals, please go to PETA.org and tell PetSmart that enough is enough and to stop selling all animals. And please, never shop at pet stores that sell any animals. Thank you.